Rogers. Well, good afternoon and thanks for joining us. Breaking news, an active scene in Metairie this morning after a deputy involved shooting. It happened in the 5000 block of Senac Drive. Asha Staples is live on the scene. Asha, we did just get an update from the Sheriff's Department. What can you tell us? Hey, good afternoon. Uh, they're just about wrapping up the scene here. It's still a number of uh, deputies here investigating what happened earlier around nine o'clock this morning. But we did just get an update about 30 minutes ago from the sheriff's office, the identity of the person that they were executing that search warrant for. Here's a look at his uh, mugshot. This is 79 year old James Millette the third. He is uh, now charged with aggravated uh, assault on a deputy, uh, but this all started again around nine o'clock this morning. Deputies were assisting the attorney general's office executing a search warrant in reference to child porno pornography charges. Uh, during that execution of the search warrant, they did knock on the door. The wife of Millette did respond to deputies and she was escorted out. She did inform deputies that her husband was still inside, but he did refuse to come out. That's when deputies went inside of the home, began to search for him, and he was found in a back bedroom armed with with a handgun. Uh, he did refuse to put that gun out, a uh, gun down and to come out of the home with deputies. So a deputy did fire a single shot, striking the suspect in the shoulder. He was then taken to an area hospital where he is listed in stable condition. Uh, but again, they are looking at this as an internet type sex crime. There are additional charges expected um, when the AG's office uh, wraps up their investigation. You know, this is a quiet Metairie neighborhood, but the uh, sheriff Joe Lapinto did speak with us. He says that no matter the neighborhood, these types of crimes can happen anywhere and anytime. You just never know where that individual is going to be. Um, you know, we understand that, you know, these types of crimes obviously uh, have a lot of shame that, that goes along with them. They can be dangerous. You've had people that have, you know, not only had incidents like this, but have also committed suicide during them. I mean, you know, those types of things do happen, um, you know, in these types of things. And that's why we have to take the precautions that we do. And Lapinto said that they do help out the AG's office with the crimes like this all the time. So they will remain on scene investigating until they are able to wrap up that search warrant here at this home. But of course, we'll keep you updated with anything else that we do happen to learn. Live in Metairie, Asha Staples, Eyewitness News.